what we have done in this video is actually very simple. We can easily convert any cube into a sphere and also a sphere into a cube in Blender using a technique which is called casting. Let us examine that using this default cube. So, you have to go to the modifiers tab. Under the modifier list, you will get this cast modifier that can cast a cube into a sphere. But before we use this, we have to first add a subdivision surface modifier. Please switch over to the simple option. Increase the levels to 3 or 4. Now, we can add the cast modifier. In the modifier properties, you can change this factor value to convert the cube into a sphere. If we increase this towards 1, you can notice how the cube is transforming into a sphere, and if you reduce this, it changes back to a cube. So we will increase it to get a sphere. But we need a perfect sphere. So let us change this factor value to 1. We will start with a sphere, and then we will create a shape animation by changing this factor value from 1 to 0 so that we get a cube. We are at frame number 1. And the factor value is 1. Let us first keyframe this factor value. We will then go to another frame, let us say, frame number 100. And here, we will change this value to 0. We need to also keyframe this. Now, if we run the animation from the beginning, you can see how the sphere is slowly transforming into a cube, just as we wanted. But if you go back to the sphere, the surface here does not look very smooth or even. You can of course make it smooth, by selecting the Shade Smooth option from here. The sphere now looks smooth. We are good. But if you now go to the cube shape, you can see that some bevels are added to the cube, as a result of the smooth shading. You can keep it if you like that, but if you need sharp edges, just switch back to the flat shading option. The cube now has sharp edges. But on the sphere, we need to do something to make it smooth. For that, we can actually increase these levels under the subdivision modifier. Let us change it to 5, or maybe 6, and the sphere will look very smooth. But please remember, as you use a higher value on this, it will also take longer time for the render. So, with that, the first part of our animation is now done. The sphere is transforming into a cube. Let us then change it back to the original sphere again, in the second half. So, we will go to say, frame number 125. And here, we will just insert a keyframe for this factor value. Let us then go to frame number 225. We will change the factor value back to 1. And we get the sphere. Do not forget to keyframe this value. That's all we need. Let us now play the whole animation from the beginning. Once this part is done, we need to add suitable textures to this object to create the planet Earth. For the video you just watched, we have in fact used two separate textures for the daytime and the nighttime. And along with that, we have also used a volumetric background light. If you need any guidance on how to create a nice looking planet, be it Earth or whatever, you can watch our tutorial on how to create a realistic planet, the link is given in the video description below. So, I hope you like this presentation today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.